is issuing a mask mandate similar to that in Harris County. Fort Bend's order also requires businesses, employees, and customers to wear face coverings. It goes into effect tomorrow night at midnight. One city council member in Laporte refused to wear a mask during a council meeting, and that decision got him escorted out of council chambers. Our Michael Laparte spoke with him and is live at Laporte City Hall with what he had to say. Michael. Keith, the city council chambers are just inside these doors over here. And the last council meeting that they had started out with a debate not about city business, but wearing a face mask. That they could space out. Thomas Garza says he took his seat on the Laporte City Council for Monday night's meeting, only to be escorted out for not wearing a mask. The other members who share this, this board with me don't have the authority or shouldn't have the authority to remove me because of an arbitrary reason like this. The council started the meeting with a vote requiring everyone at the front table to cover their faces. Garza says he pushed back because the item wasn't on the agenda and because he believes it goes too far. I do think that there are lines where we have to say, this exceeds your authority. And, and even if I didn't have health concerns for not wearing a mask, um, I think they crossed the line last night. Based on an audio recording from the meeting, not everyone agrees. And I have no intention of sitting two feet away from someone who is not wearing a mask when I am compromised by three separate uh, conditions in my health that require me to be extra careful. Councilperson Steve Gillette raised concerns about his own health. You not complying with this will hurt me. You complying with it won't hurt you at all, except your, your, your sense of, of entitlement. Simply because he is afraid should not compel me to uh, sacrifice my rights or my liberties. The mayor pro tem said the issue didn't have to be on the agenda because it was a matter of decorum, and Garza said he left the building when asked by a police officer. Back live, each side pointed out that the other could have simply attended the council meeting remotely, even from a different part of City Hall. Garza says he'll be back here for the next council meeting, and he will not be wearing a mask. Reporting live, Michael Lopardi, KPRC, Channel 2 News.